Ahoy, ahoy, pirates and mermaids. So today on day four, we're gonna be doing two stitches, that's all. It's uh, a super quick, easy day, a great day for catching up if you're just joining the sew along. So today we're gonna be sewing the uh, shoulder seams, whether you're doing the kids, the adult, the lining, the bust lining, today we'll be sewing the shoulder seams. So it's a little game that we like to call, make sure you place them on the right side. This is uh, the only thing that you need to pay attention today. So start by taking your back, the bathing suit's back main fabric and laying, lay it on your table right side up. So swimsuit back right side up. Then on top of that, put your swimsuit front right side down. This way your shoulder seams are right sides together on the main fabric. Then take your lining, whether it's just the bust or the full lining, and place it wrong side down with the front. So now my third layer is the front of the lining, wrong side down, matching at the shoulder seam. And then the last layer will be your lining back, which is, um, in my case, for the bust, it has uh, side, side seams sewn already. If you're doing just a regular lining, your side seams will not be sewn right now. They will be two separate pieces. And this last one is um, right side down, so wrong side up. <coughs> and you're going to be matching all four layers at the shoulder and pin it in place. And you're going to be sewing all four layers together with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. And that's it. That's the last step of today. That's the only step of today. So it's a great uh, day to catch up. If you haven't uh, joined us yet. So before you sew it. I'm going to go through the layers one more time. This will ensure that your side seams are enclosed and you won't feel any raw seams. So I have front, main, right side up. Back, main, right side down. Front, um, sorry, no, never mind. Uh, let's do this again. I have back, back. Uh, main right side up front main right side down front lining wrong side down back lining wrong side up and then stitch with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance which I'm going to do quickly on my center sewing machine make sure that you're using a triple stretch stitch I wouldn't even use a zigzag stitch because there's gonna be a lot of pressure put on your shoulder seams so I would definitely encourage you to use a triple stretch stitch so now my shoulder seams are sewn together and we are ready to move on to the side seams tomorrow and the crotch seam so now see if I put it correctly your shoulder seams are enclosed that's why we made the four layer sandwich this way your shoulder seam is enclosed nothing will be felt on your skin so take a picture of your beautiful swim sandwich and um, post it in the day four comments of the sew along album and i'll see you back here tomorrow for the side seams and the crotch seam bye guys